Well, hello guys, and welcome to another Lego Ninjago 2017 set review. This time, as you can see, it is on set 70624. This is the Vermilion Invader. As you can see, it includes Zane, Commander Ragmunk, and Slackjaw. So you can see the front of the box with Kai and Neo on the top there. And on the back, you can see this includes the fourth time blade, which is the forward time blade. And then we can see all of the features of the set. So let's start by taking a look at the minifigs. And so starting off with Zane first of all here. As you can see, he does get the forward time blade, which is the green one. And then there you can see his torso and leg detailing and the detail on the foot there. And as you can see, he does get a new face, which is pretty cool. And then there is no alternate face, but he does have that power button in the back, just like Echo Zane did. And then there you can see the back detailing, so you can see he's kind of got more of the electronics there. So yeah, that is it for this. And then next up here we have got Slackjaw, so as you can see, he's got this really, really cool weapon there. And then as you can also see, the torso and leg detailing, and the face, and he does get this pretty cool helmet with the trans red snakes on it. And then there you can see the back detailing and the second face, which is pretty cool. And then we have got Commander Ragmunk here. So as you can see, he's got this cool snake axe with the new axe piece on the bottom there with the trans red on it. And there you can see some of his torso detailing. And then the face under there, which is this pretty cool helmet. And then you can see on the back, he's got this stud on the back, and then you can see the alternate face. And then taking off the armor, there you can see the back detailing with those snakes there, which is pretty cool. And then the torso detailing. So as you can see there he is without any armor, which is a really, really creepy but really cool uh, detail. And so starting off with the smaller build here, as you can see this is kind of a uh, swamp scenery. You can see it's kind of got this bit of a broken fortress. But you could use this as a catapult for Zane, but it doesn't really work too well. Or you could use it as a shelter for Zane, but then it can get knocked over by the Vermilion Eggs, which is pretty cool. You can see it's got this vine piece there. Overall, a pretty simple design, but it does look really, really nice, and it is on this green plate there. And then as for the main Vermilion Invader itself, and as you can see, this does really resemble somewhat of the Warrior Bike from 2013, but it is really unique in its own way as well. So as you can see, obviously it's got that tread in the middle there, and also it's got the catapults with the Vermilion Eggs there, and you do get four of the new snake moulds on this, so as you can see, there are snakes coming out of this... Uh, everywhere and you can see even the stickers show that and at the back there you can see them so that's pretty cool and we get these uh, hero factory swords in this new uh, copper color which is uh, really nice and then as you can see moving this around we do get this little kind of stabilizer at the bottom there and then as you can see we've got the vermilion flags which are this kind of clocks on there and there is one on either side and then as you can see with these new snake molds and uh, that does break off pretty easy so if you want to move these snakes you've got to be careful but you can move them and then as you can see at the back here we've got two seats for the vermilion so you can sit or stand one there and then you can sit or stand one there as well and then they can uh, ride the invader even though it is already made of snakes so they will probably be driving it so as you can see the tread moves really really nicely and then as for the main feature of this, so as you can see we've got these vermilion eggs back here. And they are just uh, full of red studs. And what you can do is you can uh, attach these onto the uh, hooks so that when you throw this down nothing will happen. Or you could just uh, leave it off the studs so that when you launch it, it uh, launches the egg. Or you could uh, have a third option and keep the bottom bit held on the studs and just launch the studs out so that is pretty cool but that will lose them quite easily and yeah that is basically it for the main feature and uh, obviously these eggs do use the two same pieces from the galaxy squad just recolored in that gray color and yeah that is it for the vermilion invader really really nice looking set and now let's get on to ratings for this. So quickly before we get onto the ratings for the set, starting by taking a look at the instructions here, as you can see we do get two. And the first one you can see we've got the win in the back there, but nothing else. And then as for the second one we've got this advertisement for the app there, and the piece count, and the WooCrew app, all of the Hands of Time sets, and then the Hands of Time poster there. 
So yeah, that is it for the instructions. Now onto the ratings for this set. Overall, I'm going to give this set a 10. This is a really, really nice build, and it definitely does remind me a lot of the Warrior Bike, but it is very original in its own way. So obviously, uh, with it having the tread in the middle, it's pretty cool. And you can see, obviously, really, really nice build with the snakes all over it. And it is pretty unique. And it's really, really got a really nice play feature. And obviously, it's pretty cool that we get an exclusive ninja in this and two Vermilion Warriors. So if you get this and the Destiny Shadow, it's definitely a great value since that one comes with two ninja, one Vermilion, and then a big build for the heroes and a small build for the... Uh, villains so this set is obviously the opposite way around which is pretty cool so you can get those two and you will be off to a great start and yeah that is basically it for this review so please like and subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye